Tom Dempsey's 63-yard field goal is one of the most enduring NFL records. And that's really astonishing when you consider how far the art of place kicking has come in the last 25 years. For example, in the 1960s when Tom Dempsey first came up, there were only a handful of soccer-style kickers and only 52% of field goal attempts were made. Today, the straight-ahead kicker is extinct. Soccer-style rules and overall field goal accuracy is nearly 80%. And yet, no one, uh, not even the big hitters like Nick Lowry and Morton Anderson, have come close to Tom Dempsey's remarkable achievement. During a 10-year professional career, Tom Dempsey was a much-traveled place kicker for six different NFL teams, experiencing equal measures of joy and sorrow. But for one glorious moment in 1970, Tom Dempsey was the greatest kicker who ever lived. Tom Dempsey will try to kick the longest field goal in National League history. They're sending him on with two seconds left. Scarpetti will hold. Here's a snap. The ball is down. Dempsey kicks. It's on the way. It is. It was an emotional experience, something that you would like to relive again. I know sometimes I'm laying there in bed thinking about about that particular moment, you know, that had to be one of the highlights of my life and how, how you would really like to live it over again. There are times in my life now when my day doesn't go well, uh, when you're in the real world, which I am now, and I have to sell every day. It's not just producing on Sundays. It's producing every day now to keep your job. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had a good day. Uh, I walk in the house, and I look up there. I've still got the football. And I can sit down, and I can say, well, one day I wasn't too bad. The 63-yard game winner was miraculous. But Tom Dempsey was not surprised. The biggest miracle of all was that he ever made it to the NFL. He was born with a deformed right hand and foot, as well as a burning desire to succeed. With the Saints, when we first got started, we had, obviously, uh, a zillion guys come. Everybody from the parking lot came in so they could kick. So one day, they said, all right, we got this other guy coming up to kick. And I saw Tom, and he's got the deformed ham and the deformed foot. Well, he started popping those dudes, too. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, they were just flying. I said, that sucker can kick that ball farther than you've ever seen anybody in your whole life. With Tom Dempsey's wrecking ball right foot, the Saints were never out of field goal range. The competitive fires that had led Tom Dempsey to the top burned brightly during those early years in New Orleans and lit the way to the remarkable events of November 8, 1907. Well, that was a very strange game. We just lost our head coach, Tom Fears, and J.D. was our new head coach, J.D. Roberts. The team was in extreme turmoil. Uh, Half of them were glad to see the coach go, and another half weren't glad to see him go. And we didn't know how we were going to play that day. And it just so happened that we played very tough that day. We played the Lions a good football game. It was a, one of those tight games, back and forth. They took the lead, we took the lead. Right near the end of the game, they took a lead like 17 to 16. And there was less than a minute to go when we got the ball back. So there was about 12 seconds on the clock, and Al Dodd was a split end for us. And I just got in the huddle, and I said, Al, I want you to go down there at least 20 yards to make a good comeback, and I'll just get you the ball out there, and we'll try to get as many yards as we can. I think Detroit really thought the game was over anyway, and they didn't rush me very hard. And Al made a real nice move, and he just laid out and made a great catch and got in a position. I know what I was doing. I thought we had lost our mind, 63-yard field goal. I was walking down the sidelines towards the tunnel in old Tulane Stadium to go in the locker room. I thought we had lost our mind. I was on my way into the locker room. Basically, uh, I just thought I'd stop and watch him miss it and, and go on in with a win. We knew it was far, but we didn't know it was 63. I mean, nobody said, hey, this is a 63-yard field goal. Probably would have tightened up, you know, if somebody would have said that, but we just kind of did it out of reaction rather than uh, thinking. I was basically thinking about the same things that I did every time I kicked. Keep your head down, kick through the ball, but yet kick this one a little bit harder than you normally do. 
I heard the ball hit his foot. His foot hit the ball. Uh, it was a sound unlocked I'd ever heard, and it almost sounded like a cannon going off. That's the first thing that struck me was that sound. The moment he hit the ball, I said, my God, he made it. You could just see that ball just fire off his foot. I don't really think it was larger than life. There's been a lot of other things in my life that I consider more important than the field goal. I think probably the most important thing to me is my family. My boy and my two little girls and my wife. I think the biggest thrill I have ever had is the day they were born.